Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a child theme for your WordPress website, no matter what theme you're using. There is a very basic procedure to do this. You really have to just make a folder with two files in it, and that's pretty much it. So let me show you how you can do that for your WordPress website. All right, so this is my WordPress website at like, comment, subscribe.club, and I am logged in via SSH to the server. And if I do an LS here, you'll see that these are all the files that make up my WordPress website. Now, for you, if you're using a an FTP server or another way to access your WordPress website files, that's okay. We're gonna do the same exact thing, just might look different on my screen than yours. So anyway, what we're gonna do is go into the WordPress content directory. And in here, you will see that there is a plugins directory, a themes directory, upgrade and uploads. What we're interested in is the themes directory. So let's go into that folder. And in here, you will see that we have the 2020 and the 2021 theme uh, uh, folders for those guys. So here's the website in the background. Let's go see what we have in our appearance theme section, okay? So we actually have both of those here, the 2020 and the 2021 theme. The one that's active is the 2020 theme. Let's go ahead and update that, why not? Um, what we're basically gonna do to make a child theme of the 2020 theme is to make a folder here and make those two files that I was talking about. So let's do that. Let's make dir 20, let's, we'll do 2020-child, we'll call it 2020-child. So we're making a directory called 2020 dash uh, if I can spell child right, C H C H I L D. Okay, so now we'll see that we have this directory that was created. And let's go into that directory, 2020 child. And let's make uh, the first of the two files. So we're going to call it style.css. And I cannot spell today, S T Y L E dot C S S. It's a style sheet. Okay, and this doesn't have to have really any content to it. We're just gonna put a big comment at the top of the file that looks something like this. So the theme name is 2020 child. The text domain is 2020 dash child. It's version one. The template that we're using for it is 2020. The author is me, Tony teaches tech. Here's my URI. Um, and then the license is the GPL version two or later. So you can, these are just the standard um, comment structure block that you wanna add. You can put whatever information you want in there. So we'll save that. And now we have that one file. Let's make one more file called functions.php. And in here, this is simply going to be open bracket, question mark, PHP. And you, you could leave it at this, but we wanna actually inherit some of our parent themes uh, uh, style and functionality. So I'm gonna use my cheat sheet over here to paste in a block of code that does that. So it says inherit parent theme style. So that's what this does. It inherits the uh, parent themes um, style. So let's go ahead and save that. Please note that there is not any close PHP tag. This is left open ended on purpose. So we'll save that. And now what we wanna do is basically for these two files, they are owned by the root user cause that's the user that I'm using right now. Let's change the ownership of them with the chown command to the www data user and the www data group. So that's for all, pretty much all the files in this directory. Okay, so I think we're done in there. Let's minimize that. And now you'll see, if we refresh this page, we have another theme, the 2020 child theme, the one that we just defined. So we can go ahead and activate that. And now that theme is active. And because we inherited the properties of the 2020 theme, we have pretty much no difference in the way it looks and feels. So um, we got the same color scheme, the same fonts, all that stuff. So let's go ahead and go into the theme editor. If you ever were in here before, um, this is where, this is pretty much the reason that you would want to install a child theme. Um, basically, whenever you edit the main themes, let's, let's, let's select the main theme here, 2020, right? 
if we would want to add additional functionality to the main theme, the, pro the, pl the place that you want to do that is in the functions.php. But unfortunately, anytime this theme has an update, you just saw we had an update in the beginning of this video, this whole entire block gets wiped out and replaced with the new version of the code. Same thing for all these other files, including the style.css. So the reason that we made the child theme right here, 2020 child theme, is so that when those theme updates are pushed out, any changes that we made to our child themes style.css and our child themes functions.php file are preserved. They're not gonna go away. So that is really the essence of child themes and the fact that you can do it with any theme is really, really cool. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Check out some of my other videos over here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.